gotten time now for your uh, Tuesday edition of Section 6, and today you got to spend some time with the Maritime Singer-Songwriter. I did. Blaine uh, Henshaw is known for writing songs reflecting his roots, but recently it was a child of a fallen soldier who inspired his latest work. Mm -hmm. Earlier I caught up with Blaine at the Royal Canadian Legion Fairview Branch. Take a look. What prompted you to write the song, The Glengarry? The day of the funeral service, like millions of other Canadians, I was watching it on television. And it was a very uh, sad, tragic, and emotional thing that had happened. And uh, the funeral service was, was very, very emotional. Um, but when I saw his son, the five-year-old boy, wearing his dad's Glengarry, like millions of other Canadians, that just tore my heart out. And it was when I saw that that I decided I'm going to try to write a song about this because I thought that was the greatest tribute to Nathan Cirillo that anybody could do, his five-year-old son wearing his Glen Gary. So I started and uh, came up with what I hope is a fitting and, and respectful song. And it really did come. How long did it take you to write the song? Uh, there was a lot of tear shit. I don't mind admitting that. Uh, it's, it's that kind of, uh, of a story. And it took me a um, couple of days and a couple of nights. I, I only finished writing it last Thursday night. And um, it, it took a little while to get it just right, but it's the kind of song that uh, you want it to, uh, every word to be just right, and I, I hope I got it. And what's the reception been like? Well, I've only sung it publicly once. Yeah. That was uh, Sunday night at um, the Nine Mile River Jamboree. And uh, uh, the, when I was singing the song and when I was talking about it, introducing the song, uh, it got very quiet in the auditorium. And when I finished the song, there was a standing ovation. I hope the ovation was for Nathan Cirillo and for his son. He was much too young to understand what happened on that hill where his daddy died a hero and the nation's heart stood still when a brave and unarmed soldier was assaulted and brought down by a force so dark and evil that no answers can be found now the soldier's name was nathan and he wore his hilt with pride. He was proud to serve his country like the ones who'd fought and died. And he stood for peace and freedom where the unknown soldier lay. He was wearing his Glengarry on that God-forsaken day. A corporal in the Argyles, a cadet when he was young, he was everybody's brother, he was every mother's son, and the nation cried its heart out for a son who'd been brought down on a place reserved for heroes on that hallowed sacred ground. On the road they call the highway of heroes he went home to his regiment and family and to Marcus, his young son. He was just a boy of five years old, so proud and oh so brave. And he wore his dad's Glengarry on that cold October day. As the autumn leaves were falling and the lonely piper played, an Argyle guard of honor took the soldier to his grave. He was laid to rest with honor. His work on earth was done. And his checkerboard Glengarry was worn by his proud son. And his checkerboard Glengarry was worn by his proud son. Beautiful song and a lovely tribute there, Thank too. you so much, Blaine. Yeah, it was an honor. And sharp-eyed viewers out there will recognize Blaine, who, yes. who used to work here. Worked here for 14 years, yep. from 1970 to 1984. 84. Yeah, he was a yep. well-known ATV yep. reporter. Clearly, he's, uh, you know, he's still performing and entertaining and, and writing great songs. So Definitely thank you, great Blaine. songs, yes. All right, thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Let's head back.